So I got working on the antenna, which I got the um, plate out and all that. And then I started looking at the gas tank lid and thought, time to get started on that. So I unscrewed it, which uh, is just these four screws that go into those clips. And uh, it's kind of wet in there from the rain, so I think I'll jam a towel down there and dry that up. Anywho, I took it off and thought, well, I've seen these people on the YouTubes taking a razor scraper and scraping all the paint off of the entire car. So, I should definitely try that with the gas tank lid. What a great idea. It's not a huge piece, and uh, if I mess up too badly, I could just sand it out, I think. It's an aluminum piece, so it should sand quite nicely. So, we took it off, and I brought it over here to my uh, work stool, and I started scraping. And that is the result of all my scraping. I took the hinge off of the, uh, well, this is the spring for the hinge, and I've been sanding on it. It was looking pretty rusty. On the lid, I put in here, I have scraped everything off. It was like a seven layer bean dip, only seven layers of paint and primer. Um, the bottom is still this lime green. It's not seven layers, so I'll take that off later, but that's that's not the important part. The important part is the top. Um, here's the hinge. I took the spring off of. The spring catches here and down here. It's symmetrical, so it doesn't look that important about whether you get it upside down or not. I'm going to clean this chrome piece up. Hopefully it'll restore and look really nice once it's done being cleaned up with steel wool and whatnot. And uh, yeah, now I just wanted to get a kind of a before and after on the spring and the, and the hinge. Also, I've taken the emblem off and put it in my gas lid ziplock with the screws. And this had one, uh, I don't know what they're called, fast nuts or something like that, quick nuts or whatever, for locking it on. And then just one stupid hex nut. So that doesn't match, but it's under the gas hood, so who cares. This is um, the, the emblem for the 75 and 76 Corvettes. It's a little dinged up right here, but other than that, it, it's in pretty good shape. So um, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do too much different than that. Um, yeah, so... There's the before, and well, mostly before. I've done a little bit of work. Also, I'm waiting for the uh, pressure gauge to go into here, and then I'm gonna just use this good old Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic air compressor for my air compressor needs. Um, I keep hearing bad things about it, and blah, 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 but, uh, Hopefully I'll run the things that I want it to run, like my little glass bead sandblaster. Uh, 
anyway, yep. That's what I've got going. I did uh, take off the regulator. I saw on the YouTube that the regulator here was garbage, um, that it didn't have any flow, and it wouldn't run any air tools with it. So I, I took his advice, and, and I removed it, deleted it. I put this uh, piece on, and then um, I was able to then attach this disconnect. So that goes to, to the hose that, that I use. And um, I got 100 foot of that stuff. Um, this is the regulator that I deleted. Um, I haven't thrown it away or anything. Uh, it comes with this plate that holds a spring into here. And then um, that spring is laying around here too. And a stopper that goes in there, and I'm 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 sure as you uh, tighten it down and uh, release it, it's supposed to do something. But evidently, it doesn't do a very good job. And it also has its own little pressure gauge on it. But this uh, size fitting is too small for here, so it's not gonna become my pressure gauge. I will definitely, well, I've already ordered one, so it's coming tomorrow, evidently. And also, uh, I picked up these ratcheting wrenches. Um, I found them quite useful. So they're just, they're swivel-headed, so you could get into weird spots, I guess, with them. So I'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, that's where that stands. Um, I'll update later.